Captain Bill Gustin with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Department with today's roll call tip on supplying fire department connections, that's FDCs. When we think about supplying a fire department connection, it's usually as a precaution in case the city pressure is inadequate or that the building's fire pump does not operate. But there are three systems that must be supplied by pumping the FDC. It's not just a precaution. What are they? A dry standpipe, which has no water in it. A construction standpipe, which is usually dry. It may be wet in a warmer climate, such as in Miami, in my jurisdiction. However, it does not have the water to necessarily to put out the fire. It again, is, it is absolutely necess a necessity to supply the fire department connection. The third is what we call a manual wet standpipe. A manual wet standpipe is permitted in buildings that are not above 75 feet in height. They are filled with water and usually have a very small fire pump. In this case, in this building, 300 gallons a minute at 50 PSI. Why? It's a combination system where the, the standpipes supply the sprinklers. The, th the 75 PSI is adequate and the 300 gallons per minute is adequate to supply the sprinklers, not for a line off of a standpipe. If firefighters intend on fighting fire with hose lines connected to a standpipe, it must be supplied by the fire department connection. Again, construction standpipes, dry standpipes, manual wet standpipes, supplying the FDC is a necessity, not just a precaution. Captain Bill Gustin here with Miami-Dade Fire Rescue Department. <laughs>